Any specific securities, types of securities used as examples are for demonstration purposes only. None of the information provided should be considered a recommendation to invest in or liquidate a particular security or type of security. Zach's Trade does not endorse or adopt any particular investment strategy, any analyst opinion, rating, report, or any approach to evaluating individual securities. This tutorial will demonstrate how to link a checking or savings account to your Zacks Trade account for fund transfers and account management. The first step is to go to the Transfer and Pay area in Account Management and then the Transfer Funds section. From there you can select Deposit as your transaction type. By default we'll leave United States Dollar as the currency and under the method you can select ACH initiated at broker. From there it will ask you if you'd like to use previously saved bank information. We'll be setting this up for the first time so we'll select no. You can then enter in the bank account name. You then have two options to verify your bank account instant verification and traditional verification. Instant verification is faster and will authenticate your banking username and password to verify your credentials instantly. You'll be able to immediately submit a transfer request. The other method is traditional verification where two random deposits will be sent to your bank account. Please note that these two test deposits can take one to two business days to show up in your bank account. Once you see them in your bank, you'll want to verify them in account management. In this example, we'll choose the instant verification method. You'll then want to click on verify bank account. You can then select from one of the most popular banks down below, or you can search for your bank institution name above. In this example, we'll select one of the banks here. From there, you can actually enter in your username and your password for your bank. You'll then want to click on Next. If you have multiple accounts, you can also select the available account that you would like to use. You can then click on the confirm button. You will then want to click continue down below in account management. From there, your ACH needs to be confirmed. You'll type in your signature. And then confirm your identity with your Zacks Trade account username and password. You can then click continue. If you have Handy Key for your account, you'll want to go to your mobile phone and authenticate through Handy Key. From there, your bank relationship has been confirmed. If you'd like to submit a new ACH transfer from the bank that you just set up, you can go under Transfer and Pay and then Transfer Funds. From there, you can select Deposit. Under Method, choose ACH Initiated at Broker. And where it asks whether you'd like to use previously saved bank information, you'll select Yes, and then choose the account. From there, you can enter in the amount that you'd like to submit. You can then also answer whether you'd like to make this a reoccurring transaction. You can then click on Continue. You'll want to confirm your identity a second time for your bank transfer. You can enter in your username and password and then click Continue. 
A new authentication request will be sent to your mobile device if you're using HandyKey. Once the authentication has succeeded, your transfer will be submitted and you'll receive a confirmation. Thank you very much for being a Zach's Trade client. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Still have questions? Chat with us at zaxtrade.com, email us at support at zaxtrade.com, or call us at 888-979-2257. Support hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, excluding exchange holidays. Please also click the subscribe button below for any new tutorials.